before COVID is a photographer la, shoot event, shoot, uh, shoot fashion show, uh, seminar, corporate event, product shoot kan. Uh, tapi sekarang tak adalah kerja pun kurang, tak boleh buat event, so jadi uh, kena cari wang lah, cari inilah sama cari wang punya <laughs> With more than 25 years experience as a freelance photographer, John Ong has decided to convert a vintage bicycle to a mobile cafe to sell coffee to make ends meet during the pandemic. John said it was tough for him to earn a living during the pandemic because many companies had stopped organizing events and there were only a few who will hire him. Even if he gets hired for a freelance job, the organizers were only willing to pay half of his wages, which is not worth his time. Uh, job to pasal, I think because of this timing, many many people want to save money lah. I believe the big company want to save money. A full day event, a full day full day means like eight hour lah. Like you went, you go there morning, you shoot shoot until maybe five six o'clock. You the event end. So that one normally uh, our our service charge is about uh, thousand eight to two thousand. Okay. So but uh, this company. They want to really, really press our price lah. How to say that? We, we really bargain lah. Like they only want to pay like pay you like one thousand like that, just for the whole day. Yeah. So, so we don't. I don't want to do the job. Uh, actually, before the COVID, I already start selling coffee, but not on the bicycle lah. I went to the mountain, Ulu Langa, Genting. Gunting Paris, yeah, the where the peak there, where a lot of cyclists stop there, do nothing. Those days lah, I mean, after I go there, they can enjoy my coffee. So and then the after the first lockdown, once they open again, the uh, open up again. So I come up with the idea using the bicycle, because I I also don't want to go so far. So I I design the get a box, and just put all the thing inside. Just very simple. Lah. Starting his mobile cafe in September last year, John said he has moved around a few places like Taman Desa and Kebun Kebun Bangsar. He is now selling coffee at the River of Life KL every weekend as he has to take care of his mother who has Alzheimer's. Normally weekend, ah. weekend, pasal, weekend, kaka, take turn. Unto jaga mak. My mom, uh, she has uh, Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's patient. So uh, she need the full care. So uh, Monday to Friday I jungle there lah. Uh, weekend uh, sister take turn lah. Uh, I start pukul lapan. So uh, kalau business good before twelve habis lah. Ah, itu pasal ini ini tong dia beli masuk lap uh, lapan liter saja. Jadi plus minus about twenty cup lah like that lah. For John, preparing a cup of coffee needs precision, from choosing the type of bean, water temperature, and grounding. All these factors will influence the final taste of the coffee. On the menu, actually, semua pun uh, sedap juga lah, kan? As I say, based on your tang, your tang bak lah, kan? So, uh, but for people, they want to try something new, something uh, different. Uh, I I'll introduce them uh, the the black coffee go with the MCT oil. So the after the mix mixing they will become like a like a very the coffee like have some sort of lema and you know like a milky taste and caramel mouse that kind of flavor. And and this is not just the oil it's an MCT oil because it's uh, very healthy. If you drink coffee you don't put sugar example you drink uh, a coffee like this you can see the bean then you grind the bean you can see everything huh? uh, then you brew the coffee then that means it's uh, we call we, we like to call this is organic uh, because you can see everything john added he is not planning to expand his mobile cafe to a shop because it will take a lot of commitment however he is willing to collaborate with any coffee shop for business opportunities